Now I'm going to show you a sound effect technique that uh, some people like to incorporate into a drum solo or as an introduction or an interlude. Uh, this one requires a little bit of patience to get. Uh, it also requires a wet finger. So what you're going to do is dampen the tip of your finger. Usually we use our middle finger and uh, make sure that's it's not too dry. You need to get some some moisture on there. So. Uh, what you want to do is dampen your finger and then what I do is I put, place my thumb right in back of it so it's just on the pad of the finger and then you're going to rub your finger so you start to vibrate the head and this does take a little bit of practice because you need to have enough pressure so that you get the head vibrating but not too much presser, pressure uh, because then you'll hinder the head from vibrating. So if you press really hard, we don't get any sound. If we press very, very light, we get a little ghost of a sound. So it's really about finding um, the right amount of pressure. And if you, um, as you experiment with this, you'll find that you can get some different overtones, and uh, it may, it might help to. Give the drum a little tap when you start, just to get the head vibrating. You can use different amounts of pressure to get different pitches. kind of a mysterious sound, really fun sound. It's a bonus sound. If you want to work on it, you can incorporate that into your playing.